Yo, what's good everybody, it's your boy Lauren TV, coming to you back with more NBA 2K19 news. Um, um, we came back with more NBA 2K19 news, so today we're going to talk about defense. Uh, we're going to go back to dribbling because most people were kind of confused when I was talking about grand batch system and some new moves. First thing I would like to start off first is I got a whole notepad full of notes because, you know, we're going to go back to a little dribbling thing. Now, most of you guys were asking, is momentum dribbling in the game? The answer is yes. You can momentum dribble, same same sticks, the same style as you could in 2K16, 17, and 18. It's the exact same way how to do it. The exact same way. Uh, momentum dribbling is still in the game as well as speed boosting. Now somebody else asks, well, do you know if Hesitation 3 is in the game? Now, I, 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 look, just me personally, I can't go that far back, but uh, I showed y'all gameplay and majority of people said Hesitation 3 was back in the game, you know what I'm saying? I myself, I'm forgetting what Hesitation 3 was, you know what I'm saying? Most people say it was a straight, like a straight line step back. Well, I'm like, well, yeah, I can do like a 2K15 step back if that's what you're asking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know what you guys are trying to point out there, but most, when I show people gameplay and I show friends gameplay, they're like, yes, bro, it's in the game. Like, yes, just say yes, you know what I'm saying? So, Hesitation 3, nine times out of 10, most likely in the game for you dribble heads, you know what I'm saying? So, you guys, I'm not really dribble head. I just look to win, you know what I'm saying? I don't really do all that dribbling, you know what I'm saying? Now, what I'd like to talk to you guys about today is Grand Badge. Now, you guys remember the Grand Badge system back in NBA 2K17, where if your player would get hot, he would just go to the extraordinary limits. It was a badge that you had to uh, earn in my career in order to get that. Now, this year is not a Grand Badge. There's a new badge, or not even, I would, let me not even call it a badge because it's not a badge. There's a new heat system called the Takeover System, okay? Now, what it is is that it works like a Grand Badge. I talked to the developers about this and the dev team, and um, I spoke to Mike Wang about it. And Mike Wang said that it's a new system designed for archetypes that will, that will if to the point where, let's say, he gave me an example. He said, if you are a playmaker and you play like a playmaker and you make plays and you make moves, you will, uh, you will earn that takeover um, heating system and it will allow you to push your player to further limits, okay? Now, I know most of you guys, when I tweeted this out on Twitter, you were like, okay, hold on, uh, annoying. What if your playmaker is, like, making shots? Like, maybe he's not, like, a pure sharpshooter and shooting, but what if he's hitting threes? Will you still be able to earn that badge? The answer is, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But what he, from what he told me, he said, if you play like your archetype, you will achieve that, um, that heating system, the, 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 the takeover system. Okay, now when I was playing the game and I was talking to him, I was like, yo, Mike, the takeover system is kind of, kind of easy to get. You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, we kind of made it easy for you guys to get since it's a demo version and we wanted you to try it out. But when the game officially releases, it will be way harder to get. Okay, now, um, you guys have already seen most gameplay on it. If you guys haven't, you can go check my last vlog. There's uh, NBA 2K19 gameplay on the actual takeover um, heating system. And it's OP, y'all. Like, when LeBron is hot, y'all, LeBron is... That, that man is... It, it's OP, you know what I'm saying? Um, I also got it with Curry. And the, the way I got it with Curry was by shooting threes, okay? So, Curry's kind of archetype is kind of like a... Um, play sharp you know what I mean in my opinion that's just my personal opinion I don't know what his actual archetype is in the game but um he he he's big mainly to me he's like a play sharp or a shot being on sharp you know what I'm saying and um man yeah uh it's not now you guys also asked me about is there any green animations in the game now I believe so. The reason why I said I believe so is because you guys, again, if you guys want to go check out some gameplay footage of my last vlog, some gameplay footage of my last vlog pertaining to all of this. The reason why I say that is because of the fact that in, um, in NBA 2K19, like when I was getting like, even though I couldn't green, I was still doing animations that were like, you know what I'm saying, like putting your hands back like this, you know, after you take a shot, it's like... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, looking around and stuff like that. So there are animations in the game that pertain to, or hinting at getting a green release in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because he kind of did a green animation. Now, another thing you guys want to be talking about is defense. Now, I can't wait to talk about this because you guys are going to love this. 
Now, I spoke to the dev team, and even me personally playing this, all right? I was playing against Los Polos. You guys can go tweet Los Polos and ask him yourself. When we were guarding each other, it felt like we was playing on my career Hall of Fame because the way we was guarding each other, we couldn't score the ball. Like, and you guys know me. Like, listen, man, you know what I'm saying? I always clown Los about being bad at the game, but Los was clamping me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, how, was, how am I getting clamped by Los Polos? Like, you know what I mean? But um, you guys know I'm competitive, man. It's all love, but um, even Lowe said that the defense was a little bit too extreme. Now, I spoke to the dev team about this, and uh, the dev said that they redesigned their whole building system. Their whole defense system is changed. It's nothing like previous 2Ks. It's completely redesigned from scratch. Now, dev team, I applaud you for this. This is a great job. The reason being, y'all, is because body-to-body -body contact is so much more amazing this year. You guys won't even, uh, like, understand. You know what I mean? Now, most of you guys ask about animations. Yo, blow by, snatchbacks, can you do it? Stiff arm, can you do it? Snatchbacks are impossible to do from 2K18. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Once you run into a defender and you try to do a step back, you will not get the animation. Your player will like move the ball to the other hand and kind of like drag and you will get ripped. And that's one thing that I like about their stealing system is that it's, it's, it's more improved. When you bump the ball, it will get stolen. And in 2K18, there was many multiple occasions where in 2K18, you could literally dribble through people and not get ripped. Okay, now I told you guys I didn't like the 2K17 stealing system, but I actually missed it due to the fact that in 18, you can't steal the ball. You know what I'm saying? In 19, um, <clears throat> the steal success is a lot higher than what it was in 2K18, which is good. I like that, but I don't think it should be too high as it was before. If you ask me, I think it's about average. I think the stealing system was okay. Now, as far as blow buys go, blow buys are not as cheesy as it was in 2k18 but is it possible yes but the only reason if it's possible is because of the fact of matchups that's what i noticed okay now can you get a blow by animation yes the, when we got our blow by animation the blow by animations was like lebron on curry that makes perfect sense you know what i'm saying um i would say that weight matters this year or height matters this year and I, 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 yeah, I think I think weight and height matters this year because 6'3 Curry against what? How tall is LeBron? 6'8, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, LeBron was bullying Curry. Like, he was bullying him. Like, bullying, you know what I'm saying? Now, we try to do blow buys on average players, like, or players with the same height or try to keep the same weight. And the body to body system is more like the deep, like, for instance, when you do these blow buys, they don't kind of stiff arm you and kind of push you off like they used to anymore. They kind of stick with you. Now, can this still be cheesy is the question. Um, it depends. If your weight is kind of increased and it's more weight than the other player, then yes, it could possibly be cheesy. You know what I mean? Because of the fact that you weigh more than the player, so it's like it's more realistic for you to push them off. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, there's more body-to-body -body contact when it comes to just average animations. And you stick more with the player when you're driving, when they're driving to the basket. Now, paint defense. Paint defense, um, I spoke to the dev team about this as well. I spoke to Mike Wayne, and I told him, yo, paint defense is better, but it needs to be improved more. That's what I told him. I'm like, yo, make it OP. Like, make the paint defense, like, it, it, it needs to be a little bit more OP. The reason why I said that is because when I was playing against Los Polos, Los Polos kind of got, he got a heavily contested layup on me. And um, most, like, when you when you double jump, double jumping is kind of harder this year. Again, like it was in 2K18. When you double jump, it's kind of harder. You can't really, like, block the, the, the shot as well. Um, other than that, paint defense was, was a lot, way more improved than last year. Last year's paint defense, to me, in my opinion, was this. You know, but this year it's way better. It definitely increased. Um, I told them I think they need to up it more. But so far this year with defense, like on ball defense, I'm very impressed. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, very impressed because we were clamping each other. And keep in mind though, this is quick game. This is the sliders are completely different from online. 
So we have no idea, you know what I'm saying, how it's going to be online. But Dev Team, good job with defense. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, playground information. Now, or, or news pertaining to playground. Let me not say playground information because we don't know if there's a playground or not, okay? But the Dev Team did tell me that there's some unique dunks in the game like contact dunks in the game that are going to be used in online game modes okay now with these with these dunks he said these are street ball dunks arcade like dunks and um when we was playing and i was playing 2k19 there was some there was some animations with lebron lebron would just jump in the air like jump oh like i would say like jump over people you know what i'm saying to catch an alley or he would like um he would like get a, 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 a dunk animation that would just body to body contact and like kind of like look down, you know what I'm saying? They were pretty nasty dunks and they did happen with the um, the new takeover system. So that's a good sign. I can't wait to see these street ball arcade like dunks in the game. Reminds me of 2K15 and I love that feeling. Great job with the new dunking, I love it. But I can say that the dunking animations that, that, that were seen, I think that the missing dunk frequency was a little bit too high. So devs, if you're watching this, Please increase the dunk frequency because there was a lot of times we would go up for nasty dunks, but we wouldn't hit them. You know what I'm saying? They were always boing, you know what I'm saying? Like, always make it, it would be dunks that would get you out of your seat, and then you'll sit back down, like, come on, man. Like, you feel me? So, those, 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 those need to get a little bit fixed, I think, a little bit toned up. You know what I'm saying? The, the, um, the dunk percentage just get turned up. Other than that, man, it's green. Now, badges, again, pretending to badges last time, a lot of you guys were asking me, yo, is glue hands still in the game? And honestly, y'all, I didn't see not one player have a glue hands badge, but I will tell you that the passing, the passing percentage is a lot better. In 2K18, there will be a lot of times where you just pass your player the ball and the player will just drop it. Like, he literally just drop the ball or he'll try to wobble it and it'll be from a pass from like two feet away. The passing system is completely, uh, better from last year you know what i'm saying um glue hands i did not see the badge in the game is it possible that it can still be in the game it's possible but i'm letting you know when i checked everybody's badges glue hands was not a, was not a badge that i saw you know what i mean and um passing system again your players can actually catch the ball from um from start to half court full court passes it's, it can go 50-50, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can either go a really good pass for full court or it can be a really bad pass for full court depending on who the player is, you know what I'm saying? Now, Rep Awards, okay? I tried to get some, some, some playground information on Rep Awards. They were kind of silent, but they kind of let me know in on, on a little bit of details, okay? Now, um, I asked about the Rep Awards system and I was asking the developers, like, yo, Please tell me, yo, are Rep Awards better? Like, you gotta tell me, dog. You know me, I'm a park player. You gotta tell me, are Rep Awards better? He said, yes, the Rep Awards are better. I'm like, all right, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Now, I try to I try to give them, like, I try to, like, juice them out a little bit like it was an interrogation room, you feel me? Are the Rep Awards way better or are they just better? You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I think the community is gonna be happy for, for, for the Rep Awards that we have this year. Now I was like, yo, alright, so let me know and say you got you know me, y'all. I'm I'm in the I'm interrogating, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm throwing stuff out there. Tigers, you know what I'm saying? Is our tigers back? Like, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 they, they were kind of silent, so I'm like, okay, no, not tiger. Let me see, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, mascots, just throwing stuff out there. Silent, silent. I'm like, yo, alright, you don't want to tell me anything, just let me know. Are there any rubber words coming back from previous two Ks? The answer was yes, okay? Now, guys, I know what you guys are thinking, like, like, mascots, mascots, mascots. Don't get your hopes up. The reason why I said don't get your hopes up is because Rebel Wars from previous 2Ks can mean anything. It can mean skateboards, it can mean bikes, it can mean tigers, it can mean mascots, it can mean jetpacks, it can, be, it can mean VIP, you know what I'm saying? And speaking about VIP, I also spoke with another person from the dev team because a lot of people were complaining about the home VIP and people taking streaks and people taking cords and stuff like that. And he said that will be fixed next year. You know what I'm saying? He said that will be fixed if there is a VIP. We don't know, you know what I'm saying? But he said if there is a VIP, it will be fixed in NBA 2K19. You know what I'm saying? Um, we also discussed 
previous 2K problems that were occurring in the neighborhood. And um, he was basically telling me, yo, we kind of learned our lesson on a lot of things with the uh, the neighborhood slash playground system last year. And I was like, well, you know, people are com were complaining about, you know, having to walk all the way back to their mind court to go get some clothes or put their clothes on and walk it all the way back. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, yeah, uh, a lot of people were complaining about that. And um, it, 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 it's going to be fixed next year. You know what I'm saying? He told me, let me know, like, your stuff like that is going to be fixed next year. You know what I mean? So most likely you're going to be able to access your clothes through the menu and put it on right then and there. You know what I'm saying? And it might be an option if you want to go back to your mic and put it on, which is a good thing, good signs. Other than that, pretend to playground. We don't have any information. They were pretty silent about everything, y'all. I think they want everything to be a surprise. But um, it's your boy Annoying TV. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out, nation.